Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on T-Navigator. It's a reservoir simulation software. T-Navigator, it's very useful and it's very important for us to learn this software. And in this series, we will talk about CO2 geological sequestration. Okay, so in learning this, we will use model default or template model from T Navigator. It's a tutorial file. So hopefully we can learn many things from this from this file. All right. So here we have our reservoir model, the grids. And currently we are looking at the calculated parameters, actually saturation of gas. All right. And in this particular video we will not talk about the simulation itself. Later on, we will go to the script and we will learn many things from that. Okay, so let's start this video by running this. Click this button. Okay, you can see our wells, our injectors, and there, there are changes in the saturation of gas because we inject CO2, okay? Interesting. And then we can plot and you see, we are currently plotting the molar injection rate of component CO2. And the plot is molar rate in thousand kilogram per day. Okay, kilogram mass per day. And this is the time, the date. Okay, we will elaborate more on this model, on this simulation, but in this video, we will talk about the script. All right, so let's go to the script. All right, so this is the script. All right, script by the T Navigator. And you see, maybe in other playlists, I talk about the script the usage of the script in reservoir simulation. And actually, the script is the most important thing behind the scene, behind the simulation itself. So in the background, actually the source of any information shown in the simulation in the user interface is actually the source comes from this, the script. All right, so yeah, learning to use the user interface is as important as learning this script. Okay, so that's why in this video, I will talk more about this one. So let's start. The first thing, oh yeah, there are keywords in the script and keywords is the word that will activate something in the simulation. So you can imagine keyword is something like a button or a function that will be activated that will be worked out in the simulation, okay? And if we want to add comments in the script in T Navigator, you can use double double dash like like this, double dashes, okay? So if you put double dashes before anything, it will be considered as comment, all right? It, it will be comment. So it's not comment, all right? So hopefully this is useful. Okay, the keyword, all right, is comment. Okay, let me maximize it. Okay. Oh yeah. So we start with run spec. So this is very important. Make sure you start with run spec in the script. And title is a keyword to define the, the title. And the title for this case is supercritical state. And the name of the file made by the navigator is model underscore gas phase data. It's actually a super critical state case, All right? Hopefully in another series, 
we will talk about CO2 injection in liquid form, in liquid state. In this case, the CO2 will be injected in supercritical state. All right? And the keyword start, it, it means that when we will start the simulation, when we will start the operation, the injection, we start from March 2013. Okay? Okay, so you can follow me. I will zoom in again. Water, it's a keyword. It means the model, the simulation will contain water phase. Okay, actually we will inject the CO2 into an aquifer. So of course we will involve water phase and gas phase, all right? Yeah, we inject CO2 in supercritical state, supercritical phase, but in the simulation, it will be regarded as a gaseous phase rather than a liquid phase, okay? So gas will be the keyword. Comps, it's another keyword. And there is one and slash. By the way, you put slash to end any comment. So like this, the title, and then you close with slash. It means that the comment stops there, all right? And then the first date, you close it with slash. It means, yeah, you define the first date and then you, you stop there, okay? And you say that comps, right? Number of components in a compositional run. We will involve only one component, which is CO2. And then we close with slash, okay? That's just the rule in making the script for the simulation, okay? Especially for T-Navigator in this case. 